we got something in store for you guys Monday night. And like the old saying goes, that Ajax ain't gonna take off. Texas Deathmatch, Lance. Texas Deathmatch, boys. It don't matter if you get pinned. One, two, three, big deal. You keep on going. You have a little rest period, but you keep on going. You can't get disqualified. Brian Christopher can pull out that big log and chain. I can reach down and come out with the world's biggest fireball, but the referee can't disqualify us. You can't stop the match. Somebody can be bleeding head to toe. He ain't gonna stop it. The only way this ends is when somebody simply can't answer the bell. You go until you can't go no more. So Dream Machine, Doug Gilbert, you're looking at two guys right here that can go. And Monday night, we're going to go. You're going to think we're the Energizer Bunny because we're going to keep going and going and going. And you guys, you two jerks, are the ones that are going to be left laying flat on your sinking back. Right? And that's when we'll be standing over you laughing in your face, baby. <laughs> I know, Brian, you want to get your belt back, but a little revenge before that, and this is the way to do it. Mean and nasty, mean and nasty. I mean, he's nasty. You're going to find it out Monday night. Texas tornado death, what about? That one is going to be. Let's go to the ring for the action, and Corey Macklin. We are ready to go with action now. This one is the main event of the day on USWA Championship Wrestling. To the expiration of our time, making their way to the ring area at a combined weight of 495 pounds, judging from every woman's dream, Reggie B. Fine. And his partner from the great state of Tennessee, the Birdman, Coco B. Their opponent at a combined weight of 458 pounds. Here is me, the Nancy, Brian Christopher, and Jerry the King Lawler. Me, the Nancy. This is one ball creation of our time. Back to last. What is Scott Bowden doing out here? Exactly right, Lester. So I'm going to be in the corner of any man that goes against what a mean and nasty look like dumb and dumber up there to me. Or, well, Brian Christopher is pretty nasty, though. I'll tell you that. Too sleazy, Brian Christopher. Let me tell you, I don't care who it is. I'm going to be in the corner of whoever takes on Lawler and Christopher from here on out. Lance. I didn't get a chance, Scott, to tell you earlier. I like your new look. I mean, I think it's a vast improvement in there. We're ready for it. Let's go to the ring, get some action going as soon as we get him outside here. Reggie B. Reggie's happy. He said, hey, I finally got me a real partner now. He's in there with Coco Beware, no doubt about it. I'll tell you one thing, Reggie. You got some real opponents, too. <laughs> if you're going to find that out. As uh, referee Kevin Christian is over talking to the team of Lawler and Brian Christopher. I think they both want to start against these guys, but they can't two of them be in there. Coco looks like he'll be the starter on this side. Probably some explanation, too. I wonder if they're questioning the presence of Scott Bowden uh, at uh, ringside. Very good point, yeah. Waller. I'm not sure that Lawler wants him to go. I think he wants to stick around so he can knuckle him a little right there on that sore face. I think I'm paraphrasing Lawler a little bit, but he said something like, Scott, I hope that uh, mask is flame retardant. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, the bell sounds. Brian Christopher. Coco Beware. <laughs> Starting out. Coco, there's another one that's been around the world yep. several times. Got that experience. We were talking about athletes. Here's a guy that's a pure athlete also. Whoa! He was a little far behind. Brian Christopher putting it to him as he, he prances backward as Coco missed him by at least four inches on the swing. Just wasn't quick enough. Boy, if he had hit him, he could have done some yeah. damage there, though. Brian Christopher got out of the way. Almost said he was fortunate to get out of the way. He just, he wasn't fortunate he was good. He got out of the way and he tagged Coco with a big right hand. Coco over to the corner to tag Reggie and Reggie's going, well, I'm not sure I'm quite ready. Coco. 
He reluctantly takes the tag. Reggie B. Fine not too thrilled to be stepping in after Brian Christopher just back Coco with a right hand. I, I, I think that Reggie thought that you got to vote on the tag oh. every time. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. No, no, Reggie. When your partner says, here, take the tag, then that's when you take the tag. Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of tagging, I mean, there was a stamp of approval from Brian Christopher. You like it, Scott Bowden? Has there been a wrestling move yet? The name of the show is wrestling, not boxing. What is this, Lance? Was this wait, a wait, Tuesday wait. night fight? Has there been a wrestling move yet? The name of the show is Entertainment Brother, and it's entertaining to see Brian Christopher nail Reggie B with that right. And who threw the first two punches? Uh. Neither of them connected, but it was Coco who threw both the first two punches. That's what got this round going if you want to call it a boxing Scott match. Scott wasn't complaining when that happened either, Dave. He was perfectly happy except he would have liked to have seen him connect. Christopher Reggie B. Vine winding the arms up makes the tag on the king and here he comes. Boom! Reggie B. Vine. You know, I think Reggie was looking for a tag in the wrong corner. He is looking in the wrong corner now, neutral corner. Anybody he, in the front row will do. He, yeah. he just wants out of there. He almost tagged Lawler, so Lawler stepped through the ropes and tagged him instead. Got him with that right hand. Now, oh, it's time to talk. Reggie says, hey, how am I doing, Coco? And Coco says, okay, I guess. <laughs> You're looking great, Reggie. Just stay right in there. Soften him up. I'll come in and finish him off. And collar and elbow. It's Reggie B. Turns Lawler around back into the turnbuckles. Whips a shot to the midsection and then whips Lawler across the ring. Ha ha. Oh, you didn't fall for that, but you did fall after that one. Reggie congratulated himself just a second or two early, just before Lawler popped it. Scott, you need to have a little better input with your guys up there. I tell you what, if I was still refereeing, I would have long disqualified Lawler Christian. This is ridiculous. Am I going to have to get in there and straighten out Kevin Christian neck? Is he the next one I'm going to Oh, oh. Hey, why don't you do that? You just jump right in there and straighten Kevin Christian and Lawler out. That would be fine. We'd sit here and enjoy that. Coco Beware taking the tag as Reggie is over here shaking his head saying, woe is me. Yeah, he's, he's holding that head too. Probably a little bit sore. Coco, meanwhile, just waiting, as is the king. Here they go, about to tie it up in the center of the ring. Uh, not sure what happened there, but there you go. Back. Lawler backs near the corner. Look out, Reggie's back there, not too far away. Scott Bowden is there, too. Grabs Lawler from behind. Bowden up on the ring apron. He's not supposed to be there. And a, the referee is telling him, get down there. Now it, Lawler turns around and says, hey, stay out of the way. Oh, boy. Coco got him. Rips him with the right hand, does Coco on Lawler. And the oh, Scott Bowden nailed by Coco Beware, put him right back down on the floor, and that was the best punch Jerry Lawler never threw right there. I he, tell you, Coco really popped him, Dave. That's why he's the king, because he's so far ahead of his opponents when he's thinking. He set him up. He set Bowden up. And then Coco, Coco says, I told you to hold it. Easier said than done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Referee Kevin Christian kind of looking with, uh, I think, a little amusement himself in there as Scott Bowden, former referee, took that shot from Coco Beware, a dandy tag to Brian Christopher. And a ringing right hand on Coco. Whoa. Stunned him with that one. He goes down to one knee and drapes him over the rope and slides outside the ring and rips the right hand on Coco. Once again, there's some misdirection from the team of Bean and Nasty, they call themselves. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. Great move. Yeah. Even though he hates to, uh, you got to give the devil a do, and there it is. Boy, Reggie B. 
Fine gives the devil a do. Reggie B. Fine wasting no time and seizing that opportunity. He's got Christopher up in the air for the slam. There's a cover by Reggie B. and Coco Beware. A little irritated. He was set up on the turnbuckles, and he wanted Reggie to get out of the way so he could splash him. And Reggie went down for the cover. Coco figured he wasn't ready, and he wanted to add that splash. But Reggie stole his thunder, and Coco's a little irritated about it. Holding down on Brian Christopher across that top rope. Reggie ringing a left hand right in that midsection. And his head on the turnbuckle. Coco saying, hey, look, I'm going to set this guy up. I'll hold him. You come powering down and nail him. Scott Bowden drops with both hands and puts Brian Christopher on the deck. Here comes the king after Bowden. He's seen enough. The referee trying to hold him to tell him to get back in the corner. Meanwhile, Reggie working on Brian. Scott Bowden running around the ring. It's a double team on Brian Christopher. And Coco Beware smacks him coming off the rope. Christopher can't get back on his feet. Now he struggles back to his feet as Lawler gets to the corner. He's trying to say to the referee, what is going on here? Look out, file driver. Oh, my goodness, from Coco Beware. Brian Christopher smashed into the mat the tag made and here comes reggie b fine now coco had him set up for the pile driver and just to add a little more to it reggie went over and spiked him as they both went down with that pile driver and christopher pumped out what Amazing strength comes out of youth, and he goes between the legs, too. The king, and here comes Waller. The strip comes down. We've got them all in there. As Lawler is pounding on Reggie B, Brian Christopher going after Coco, and everybody but Scott Bowden is in the ring, whipping them out of the corner, slamming together right in the middle of the railroad tracks. And Lawler and Christopher have the upper hand. Coco nails Lawler from behind now. He holds him up. Look out, Reggie B. Fine coming at him. Oh, this time, Lawler ducks, and Reggie hits the referee. Kevin Christian is down in the ring. Lawler trying to help him up, and he's trying to tell him, hey, you need to disqualify Reggie for hitting you like that. You touch a referee, that's, he's gonna he's gonna do it. He stopped it. That's a DQ. And Lawler and Christopher celebrate as they leave. They have just defeated Coco Beware and Reggie B. Fine. Reggie made a critical, critical mistake right there about his third one in the match. And now Coco is saying, hey, come on, man. I had him set up. And you miss the big fire and close line. You hit the referee and get us disqualified. As Reggie B and Coco, uh, Reggie, he's uh, arguing back with Coco or else making some explanation. Uh, Coco said, hey, all I can do is have him set up and you miss him and go into the referee like that. And the referee did disqualify the team of Coco. They'll listen to the crowd. They're oh, yeah. kind of egging uh, Coco on yeah. there. You don't have to take that from Reggie B. Fine. Scott Bowden. Uh oh. oh there, wow. And there's maybe the worst mistake Reggie's made all day right there as he shoves Coco back. Uh huh. That's what happens when you jump Coco Ware. Dumps Reggie B. down on the mat and Scott Bowden grabs a hold of him. Now you want some trouble. You're about to get a whole big handful of them oh, from behind. Reggie B. Fine. Reggie B. Fine and Scott Bowden both jumping up and down on Coco Ware. Coco upset that Reggie had cost the team the match. Oh, now Reggie swings at Coco. Coco ducks out of the way. Here's Scott Bowden putting the boots to him again. As they continue to work on Coco Beware. Coco lost for Coco today, Dave. Well, you know, Coco was having a serious discussion about it. He didn't hit Reggie. Reggie's the one that hit him. Oh, boy. Yeah. Boy, Reggie is not having a good day. Now, Scott Bowden's got to be wondering why he showed up at ringside, yeah. too. As are we. And now 
Reggie finds out what it gets like to be tagged because Coco Beware just pounded him with a right hand and I mean hammered him, hammered him right down to the mat. Referee Kevin Christian comes in to get the ring cleared away here. So the official winners, Lawler and Christopher, over Coco and Reggie B. Fine by disqualification. And yes, indeed, I am. There's not what, what uh, Reggie B. Fine and Scott Bowden out here. Hey, let me tell you, I'm Coco. I made you, boy. I took you out of Scottsdale and put you with me today, and you made me look bad. Dave Brown, I don't give a damn what nobody hey. says. All right, you're down. not going to, I told you, you're not going to come out here and talk like that. Just take, you just take it right out of here. Coco hits me. He hits Reggie. He hit everybody but his opponent. Look here comes Coco right here. That'll get rid of him. Thank you, Coco. Thing, Dave. Hey, I'm not a hard person to find. I just got through talking to Eddie Marlin. So, Eddie, come on out here for right now for a minute. Now, Eddie Marlin, I know you, hey, I know we don't see eye to eye. Right. And I tell you what, I know we had a lot of problems. But what I'm say what right now, I know you got the power to change a match. And I want you to change a match because I want Reggie to be fine Monday night. Change the match, Dave. All right. It's all right me. Change the match. Coco and Reggie be fine. Let's run down the complete card right here. I can't wait, baby. I you got it, Eddie.